Anxiety about tipping and gift giving. Next, Oprah. Anything you need before I go? What, are you taking another half day, Rose? <sighs> Look, you should be going home, too. Is that the meal? Top ones marked personal and confidential. Probably a chain letter. Well, don't break it. Yeah, well, I make my own luck. Mom. My darling Haley, Christmas is coming. The holidays are hard for people like us. All that mistletoe and eggnog. I'm hoping you can find it in your heart to forgive me and give us another chance to be a family. Sweetie, please. Let me come home for Christmas, love, Mom. Hey, boss. Uh, for your reading pleasure, I'm holding the press release touting no keeper, the man with attitude. Okay. Um, listen, I'm cutting out because I have a hot date with a former man of enchantment. Tell him you'll be late. Well, I can't do that. Charlie's waiting. You're on my time now. Look, if Charlie can't wait a few minutes, you know, then maybe you should find yourself a new boyfriend. Or... A new job. Hey, what do you think? I hope that uh, Kelsey likes the new bedspread. I got it at Salle du Bain. That's very pretty. Yeah. What was wrong with the old one? Well, I, I don't know. I just wanted everything to be fresh and new and pretty for her. I think Kelsey's a teenager. TV, a phone, and a mini fridge, she'll be happy. <laughs> Is there anything for me? Yeah. This is, it's an appointment <clears throat> reminder from Dr. Kadamia. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. No, this is just a, uh, you know, a routine follow-up thing. Remember when we were trying to conceive, um, Dr. Kadamia said that maybe I should come in and get a second laparoscopy to remove any residual scar tissue in my fallopian tubes. You gonna go for it? Should I? I mean, if there's a chance, we can have a baby the natural way. Honey, Kelsey is moving in today. So if you're having any second thoughts about adopting her baby, we need to deal with it right now. Mr. Greco, do you have any questions? Any questions that the host might be asking you? If ask me anything, Louis Greco doesn't lie. <laughs> Do you know her? Oh, we had something hot going until she went loco. Called me a drug dealer, sent me to prison. She's the one who got you busted. Yeah, she's the one. Would you mind terribly sharing the stage with her? Well, like I said, anything goes. Uh, but if I was you, I wouldn't tell her. I'd let it be a little surprise. I love surprises. <laughs> So does our audience. My private office is this way. Um, maybe you can lay low until showtime. Down this hall, on the right, first door on your left. So important to back out now. Hi, Janet. Oh, hi, Mr. Riley. Welcome to the cutting edge. Thanks. Don't be nervous, the camera doesn't lie. You are televised proof that people can and do change. You need coffee, something to drink, anything to eat, please help yourself. And good luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm. well, hello, everyone. Liza, Hi. have you met my buddy, the barrister, Jack Montgomery? Well, I think that I would have remembered if I had. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Liza like Coldley, that. WRCW's new manager, guiding light and all around troubleshoot. That's a hell of a resume. Well, I don't know about guiding light. <laughs> Have you met Julia Santos? No, I haven't had the pleasure. It's great to meet you. You too. Hey, it's been great. Just ran a, a feature profile about Julia for Tempo. Yes, our Julia here takes a hard line when it comes to victims' rights. As a matter of fact, she just helped put away a guy for dealing drugs to kids. Right. Yeah, and thanks to our revolving system of justice, he's back out on the streets. You have something to say about that. That's why I'm here. Great. You are going to be a terrific addition to our expert panel. 
And as it turns out, uh, Erica won't be hosting the show today. I will be, so I, I promise you there'll be no humiliating questions, okay? No sucker punches, no low blows, just good, clean, provocative Q&A. Scotty, man, I need a piece. You got a line on that? I need a gun. gun? Last time I seen you, man, you were doing denim ads. Your butt is famous. Or well, whatever. Talk with me, man. I need a piece, 38 or better. What can you do for me? Hey. Noah! What the hell are you doing? We uh, ran with the same crowd. The night we met, that little gal wrapped herself around me and held on tight. <laughs> we got it on for a while, but it went stale. I tried to cut loose, and then she went crazy. Crazy? Jealous. Hot temper. She started calling me all the time on the phone, showing up at my place of business, making scenes. So you're saying that Julia stalked you? Everywhere I went, there she was. Yeah. One time last summer, I was entertaining a lady friend, right? Miss Santos was hiding in the closet playing I Spy. Did you call the police? Well, I thought I could handle it. <laughs> Big mistake. Big mistake. She, uh, no, really, she, uh, she said she'd get even with me. Uh -huh. Then she trumped up these bogus drug charges. So you're saying that she lied under oath? Uh, that her testimony was of a woman scorned boy? She did exactly what she said she would. Wow. Yeah, made me pay through the nose. And I'm still paying. I mean, just today, she showed up at my job to make no. a big hassle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is one wacky ride. <laughs> Colby, this alleged list of next week's... Who are you? Name's Louis Greco. Ah, uh, Mr. Greco. He claims that he was uh, falsely imprisoned on drug charges based on the testimony of Julia Santos. He has agreed to appear on today's show to present his side of the story. I assume Miss Santos would be allotted equal time. Well, she's being interviewed by Tad before Mr. Greco would go on. With or without Julia's knowledge? Without. Uh, have you told your producer? Well, there's so many late-breaking things, I, I figured I would tell Ted before we rolled tape. When you do, I want to be there. Oh. Hi. Uh, oh, hi. Hi. Uh, are you here to, to watch a taping? No. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm guesting on the cutting edge. Victims' rights versus the rights of reformed wrongdoers. You think you'll find uh, a middle ground? I hope so. Well, good luck. Uh, have either of you seen Adam? Uh, he, he was milling around here backstage somewhere. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, by the way, it, hmm? did Adam ever find someone to paint that portrait? Uh, I'm sorry? Well, he came by the cabin to see Pierce about painting a portrait of someone special. Really? <clears throat> I'm sorry. Are, are you the someone special? I didn't mean to ruin the surprise. Oh, no, no. On the contrary. Forewarned is forearmed. I knew it. I knew it. There was no portrait. Adam was strictly on a fishing expedition. So, it's not much showtime. You ready? Where's Erica? Well, it looks like I'm going to be slipping into her size threes for the day. You're going to ask the questions? Yeah, that's not a problem. I guess not. I guess not. Uh, uh, unless Dixie... Uh, Dixie declined her offer to appear, so it looks like uh, you're going to be all alone. I'm 
couldn't be all alone. Hey, I'm here. Just do like Miss Colby told you to. Just be yourself. Show those people out there who the real you is, okay? Janet, I know. The woman I am. Places, everybody! The woman you what? I'm calling for you. Good luck. 